I'm Jacob Kaufman. I work at the Applied Research Group um, at the Ethereum Foundation, and this is something that I've been working on uh, for the past few weeks uh, with a teammate of mine, Alex Stokes, who's also here. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Um, a few preliminaries. Um, first, I want to say thank you to the Red Team for um, really great support. Um, I could say a lot more, but in the interest of time, let's uh, move forward. And then a disclaimer. Uh, this is experimental software, research pur purposes only, uh, no liability, uh, all that stuff. Um, quick outline. So I'm going to talk about local block production, MetBoost block production, um, why is open source block production software important, and then we're going to talk about Evangelion, or Ava, as I'm calling this uh, block builder. And then we'll talk about some ongoing and future work. So in Ethereum, we have this uh, separation of concerns between the consensus layer, or the CL, and the execution layer, or the EL. And they communicate via the Engine API. So the CL will periodically notify the EL about updates to its fork choice state via Engine fork choice updated. And when it's the validators turn to propose, it will also send along these payload attributes, uh, which contain information that the EL needs to build uh, the payload. And the EL will return an identifier called the payload ID, which the CL can use to uh, retrieve uh, the corresponding payload. So in MetBoost block production, uh, validators auction their block space to this network of external builders and relays broker this interaction uh, between the validator and the builder. And both the validator and the builder rely on the relay to sort of provide some guarantees about this exchange. Um, so builders are these specialized entities um, that have advantages that allow them to build higher value blocks. The main sources of uh, edge or alpha are information or order flow and algorithms. Um, so for example, um, builders might have uh, a vertically integrated searcher or some other exclusive uh, agreements with searchers to get uh, bundles or, or private transactions. So why block production open source software? Um, this chart is from mevboost.pix, which is maintained by uh, another teammate of ours, Tony. And you can see that essentially four or five builders um, have you know, an overwhelming majority of the block share. And so we really want to lower the barriers to entry for uh, builders. And so what we try to do is we can't really solve the uh, information edge, um, but we want to minimize the algorithmic edge as much as possible. And yeah, we want to allow builders to specialize. So instead of having to you know, spend energy and resources maintaining a fork, we would rather allow you to spend time uh, you know, building more advanced algorithms. And it would also be cool to have like, academics or other researchers um, you know, implement uh, various algorithms. So what is uh, Evangelion or Ava? So in uh, Reth, there's a crate called the uh, Reth Payload Builder. And there's, within there, there's a trait called the payload job generator. And essentially what this is, is you call it uh, with some payload builder attributes, and it will give you back a job. A payload job is essentially a future that will eventually resolve to some payload. Um, and I've omitted some details here for brevity, but you can also periodically pull the job for the best payload. This is important because uh, transactions and bundles are always flowing in. And so over time, you can assume that the more time you have to accumulate transactions and bundles, you can build more valuable payloads. So we have this implementation of this trait. And then also Giorgio has talked about uh, CLI extensions. So um, we pass in this uh, custom builder. And then that's essentially all we need to do to interface with Reth. Um, we also configure the consensus layer um, to continuously trigger payload jobs. So by default, 
It will only trigger a job when it's the validator's turn to propose. Um, but you can configure Lighthouse to, for instance, trigger a new job for each slot. Um, and then also, the other bit is that um, the EL and CL are not MevBoost aware by default. So we need to build some extra machinery around it so that we can, for instance, query a relay to see this proposer, are they registered with MevBoost? And then we need to uh, get their registration information so that we can do things like uh, send the fees to the proper address on the execution layer. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Um, so with not so much code, you can have a custom builder uh, without maintaining any forks. And this is you know, a huge improvement over you know, maintaining a, a fork of Geth. Um, and yeah, we've built some blocks on Sepolia. Here's the link to the GitHub. Um, and for ongoing future work, uh, we need to build some better abstractions in the same way that REST, REST provides these powerful abstractions. Uh, we want things like a bundle pool, uh, block packing algorithms, and bidding strategies, um, as well as some other optimizations. And then I'll quickly say that we have this other project um, created by Alex Stokes uh, that's in the same way as an open source builder. It's an open source relay, also in Rust. And uh, yeah, we'd love to have more help on it. So thank you.